Hello everyone, I am the Ron and Only, and there's nobody I'd rather be. Welcome back to part five of my Let's Play of Pokemon Violet for Nintendo Switch. Last time in part four, we journeyed from, oops, get my bearings right, uh, Mezagoza uh, through the South Province area too, and arrived in Cortondo, where we took on the bug gym here uh, with the bug leader, bug gym leader Katie and her Pokemon, and her bug Pokemon, which we were immediately like had no problems with. Our Pokemon completely steamrolled her, um, and also in the South Province area. I also down here. I also caught myself my first po my shiny Pokemon of the run uh, of my playthrough, which is a Psyduck. Uh, a nice little blue Psyduck. So that is awesome. Uh, off screen, I sorted out the team and got uh, a team I want to train up moving forward. Uh, as you can see, on the map, I've marked off the destination where we're heading to next, which is a Pokemon Center over here. Uh, and then we'll be heading up towards the Titan Badge flying. And we'll find out what Titan Pokemon is, uh, is here. The Open Sky Titan. Boulders are tumbling down from a mountain in the West Province's area one. Perhaps a titan wanting to keep the sky to all to itself? The climb may be more challenging than the battle. Let's that's go find out. So that's what we're going to go to do, do today. We're going to take on another titan Pokemon. Uh, I did say I was going to maybe do a Starfall cha challenge or something like that. Uh, but the closest one is actually, like, beyond... The Titan, which is up here. So we could go to the Pokemon Center and just skip the Titan and go to take on the Dark um, uh, dark Crew base at Starfall Street. Um, but I think we're going to take on the Titan first. I think the Titan would be, would be pretty cool. Uh, but first we've got to head up this hill, uh, take on this flying uh, Terra Pokemon, and then head out onto uh, West Province Area 1 Central. And then towards the Titans. So hopefully we can do that in today's part. So let's jump on the ride on and get going. I'm already in position. I've already got all my Pokemon I need. Uh, we're finally saying goodbye to Cortondo and heading off. So let's go. Into South Province Area 2. And there's finally a Rockruff. Thought, thought we were going to run eventually. Take on with my rock Pokemon as well. Uh, we've got training up Knackley because I want to just want to see evolve, what it evolves into. Really, uh, hit it with a mud shot. Rockcroft's going to do a sand attack. That's fine. And we have access to super potions. I have some super potions. I have some great balls. We're going to catch loads of Pokemon. And speaking of which, we just caught Rockcroft. Classic rock Pokemon. And a dog. <laughs> Uh, there's a Mistrevious and a Ghastly over here, and a, and a new Pokemon. So let's catch these new Pokemon. Hey, Ghastly, who's a little green Pokemon? Little green bird thing. I oh, was running away. Don't run away. Um, we'll do Smackdown. Goes for Payback immediately, which is not fun to know that you have. Um, What's this little green bird thing? That's a... Oh, it's gone. Um, let's try Great Ball. Nice. Okay, I've got a ghost Pokemon floating in the air. A Pokeball floating in the air makes sense. And yeah, poor me... Uh, poor Moe, he's even added to the team. So that's excellent. And we have a Ghastly. Loving the colours on it. It's not really purple now. It's like a kind of blue-ish. Who's this green little guy? Hey, green little guy. Who are you? Oh, angry green little bird. Capsa kid. Okay. Uh, if you're a bird, I don't want to kill you. Let's do mud shot and see what happens. What type are you? Let's find out. You have growth, which is not encouraging. Okay. 
let's see what SmackDown does. Are you a ghost type? Critical hit, nice. Uh, I don't have any dust balls. A dust ball would be great for you. Uh, in the meantime, let's throw a great ball instead. Maybe it's a ghost type? A ghost flying type? Capsa Kid, let's find out. A grass type? Interesting. Spicy pepper Pokemon. Traditional Pelian dishes can be extremely spicy because they include the sh shred front teeth of Capsicid among their ingredients. Uh, uh, to be honest, I don't have a grass type. I do have two electric types though, so I'm going to switch. Well, poor Mo, we just added to the team. I don't know. Because uh, Tab Ball. We're going against the flying um, Titan, so I, I want to have a. Uh, but I want to see what Tab Bulb evolves in. Well, we, well, we know what Tab Bulb, to in, tab bulb evolves into. I just want to see it evolve. Um, I guess poor Mo for now. Uh, place item in bag. But we have a Capsa Kid. That's an interesting Pokemon. It doesn't look like a grass. It looks like a bird flying type. But uh, turns out no. And hey, Mr. Evers, do you want to get captured as well? Mr. Evers. There we go. That's that's my best impression you'll hear of me doing Mr. Evers. <laughs> <gasps> There's a Fampy. I want a Fampy. Poor typing. Um, but we'll give it a shot anyway. Fampy's going for Growl. Now, in one of the trailers, they showed off a potential new evolution for Fampy, for Don Fanny, uh, for Fampy, which is Don Fan. Uh, but apparently, it might be in two different versions. Like, there's a future version and a past version. Um, and I kind of, and obviously, because I'm in Violet, uh, I get future versions of things. So, I want to see the future version of it. Uh. Fampy is choosing some interesting moves. Let's go Great Ball. There we go. So yeah, I've... Uh, Fampy has a, a Paldean future past evolution thing going on. So that'll be interesting to see, finding what that Pokemon is uh, eventually. Also, I've always liked Fampy. Fampy's a great ground, little ground type Pokemon. I've always, always loved Fampy. Johto um, playthroughs are always never complete without a Fampy on my team. There's some Mud Braids. I haven't got some Mud Braids, so I'll catch a Mud Braids. Uh, let's catch this one. There's a Mankey. Right, there we go. Just got to get past these ghastly. Excuse me, guys. Hey, Mankey. Nice. You'd be helpful against those, that dark street guy. So uh, maybe I'll add Mankey to the team. Who knows? It is a past Pokemon, but um, again, just like Don Fan, I've heard slight rumor that it evolves into something um, to do with Pokemon Violet, Scarlet, and Violet. So uh, I won't say exactly what I've heard or what I've what I've I've, I've I, I personally I haven't seen. I've, I've been spoiler free myself. So, uh, but. From what I've read about and been hinted towards, Mankey might be a good idea. So uh, I'll just leave it at that. If you want to also find out, um, you can also find out. Have I been down here? Probably not. Oh. You're a new Pokemon. Hello. Who is this Pokemon? He's this little cutie? Flittle. Okay. Uh, let's find out what type you are. I guess for confusion. So maybe you're a psychic type? You are a psychic type and I just killed you. No! With a crit! God dang, Capsa, Capsa Kid. I was a new Pokemon! No! For God's sake. Uh, I'm going to have to try and find a new one. Right. 
damn it. Right, let's get it moving. Try and find there's another... F there is, there's one. Right, okay. Let's not kill this one, please. We now know it's a psychic type, so we're not going to use bite on it. Okay. Flittles. So we'll go for... Right, just raise the leaf. Just find out what ways leaf does. Go for quick attack. Okay. There we go. Into the orange and great ball. Let's go. <gasps> Instantly broke free. Not a great sign. Goes for confusion. Not doing too much damage though, so we should be okay. Another great ball. Let's have a give it a go. And caught. Finally, we caught a flittle. Great name. Uh, and it is a pure psychic type. Okay. Uh, it spends its time running around wastelands. If anyone steals its beloved berries, it will hunt them down and exact will chase them down and exact its revenge. Why well, don't we have a psychic type Pokemon now? That'll be good for something. <laughs> Poison type gym, if we ever come across it. Uh, there's a tad bulb in the grass. Just having a little nap. Okay, let's see what Pokemon's in the Terra Raid then. Uh, it's a flying type, so... A flying type Charcadet, okay. Swish a tab bulb, you need the experience. And we'll challenge alone, as, as we, if we challenge as a group, it will spoil the game for us. So let's nod, shall we? But anyway, let's go take on a flying type Charcadet. That's kind of cool. Okay, here we go. Crab Brawler, Skiddo, and a Growlithe. Okay. Skiddo's probably not the best one to bring. Uh, can I terrestrialize? No, not yet. Let's go for a spark then. Lay on the pain, boys. Let's go. Sparks to fish off. Come on. There we go. Nice. HP bug got a little bit broken there, but we caught the flying type chocolate. Let's go. We're going to catch you in a uh, regular Pokeball. Why not? Oh, yeah. Here we go. Terrible. Go. Nice, we caught ourselves a flying type terror type Charcadet. Wonder if there's a way to to no. Oh, there's some basculin down there though. Uh, definitely. Hey, Psyduck. Uh, there's a terror Pokemon over here though, which I should be able to get to. Yeah. A Terrab Weasel. Okay. Level 21. We can take it on. But what Terra type are you going to be? Ice type? Uh, I don't think I have a Pokemon I can take you on. Uh, Steel beats ice. So that's good to know. And so is Rock. I never understood that. But, um... Okay. Uh... Tick a tick. Let's go.
goes to that icy wind. Not very effective. Good to know. Now, I'm going to go for rocks. I would territorize as well, but that would make us ten times more powerful steel type. I'm just going to keep as we are and just rock smash it, even though it flinched us, which is not great. But I'm just going to rock smash it. So we can move. We're doing okay. Come on. There we go. Didn't get the defense lower. That's fine. Gonna go for a bite. Well, we're not very active. I guess this is... might get the flinch. Berry kicks in, which is great. And did we get flinched as well? No, we didn't. So rock smash. And then we'll throw a great ball. Oh, uh, no, I have to actually weaken it into the, get it into very weird should do it there we go nice great ball go and we'll catch an ice type weasel well ice terror type weasel hmm She'd be actually quite good enough, I think, about it. If, if, you know, water into ice. I think. Maybe. Maybe it's a good type. Let me know in the comments below if it's a good type or not. Uh, was there a bridge over here anyway? There probably was. I caught your friend. Don't be mad. Okay. Well, let's go back across here. Oh, loads of Pokemon taking me on here. Uh... Well, technically not on the water, but I, uh, okay. The game thinks I am on the water? Okay. I'll just take it as it is, game. You okay, Psyduck? You're, just having a little sit. <laughs> just... Just a happy little side duck. <laughs> you arrived at your destination. Phew. Let's heal up the team quickly. Okay, let's keep on rolling. Let's keep on going. Uh ooh. Oh, this is just a sleeping skiddo. Okay. I promised we'd get to the next part, which is just up here, the Flying Titan. Um, let's quickly make sure I've got the right team for a Flying Titan. Um, that should do it. Let's go take on the Titan, So, which is just up here. Set its destination. Also, there's a Steel terror type Pokemon over here as well. So we'll go up here. Maybe I'll do that off screen. And if anything happens, I'll record it and see what happens. But let's go up here. Take on the terror, the the, the sky titan, the, whatever titan it was. We don't want to go that way. We want to go up here. Well, these big windmills are in the trailer. Ah, I see. Oh, Roto Roto. Arvin? Yo, Ronnie! So from what I gathered, seems like the open sky titan lives somewhere up on this mountain. But there are all these crazy boulders raining down from the mountain too. It's going to be a little tricky to stand around and look for the titan while dodging all those. I think you'll be sent flying if you get hit by a falling boulder. But maybe you could power up your way through atop the brute of yours. Ah, oh, okay. Neat. So we use Miraidon to get to the titan. I see. Uh, there's the item. Uh, it's just a great ball. Okay. Woohoo! Let's go. Okay, ca catch up. Catch up and read that camera. Uh... So we want to be going up here. Yes, look at all the windmills at 20 frames a second. There we go. Oh, 
Ooh, there's a... That's a new Pokemon. Hello. A Stork? No, come back here. Come back here, Stork. How do I catch you? Get lower. Get lower. There we go. A Stork Pokemon? A Bombardier. Okay. Uh, let's catch you. Um, you definitely would kill it. Definitely would kill it. I... That'll do. Tick a tick. But a stork Pokemon, that's so cool. It's like carrying in its, its like, really long chest feathers thing like a, like a, like a stork would. Um, we'll go for Rock Smash. So I don't want to knock you out. You went for Rock Throw, that's interesting. A fly type Pokemon with the root Rock Throw. Go for another Rock Smash. Memento. What's this do? Attack harshly fell. Interesting. And and it killed itself. No! Bombardier, no! I wanted to catch you! Damn it! Why'd you have to kill yourself? Why do you Pokemon do that? Just trying to bring catch him. Hopefully I can catch another one. Some steps going up to that one. Let's find out what this Terra Pokemon is. Steel type Shroomish. <laughs> That's kind of awesome. Uh, let's change Pokemon. Steel types are weak against fighting types and fire types. Uh. Charcadet would be good. Yeah, Charcadet, why not? And change alone. It's only a level one true mission. It should be easy to catch. Avia, Pornard, and Stunky. Okay. Some of these are okay for, for this kind of fight. But, ah, oh, the sword looks so... It's like a giant axe in the back. That's so weird. Uh, can I can't terrestrialize yet. Uh, so we'll go for Ember. Nice. Did big damage. Should be something for Absorb for some reason. Okay. Get the one HP back. Everyone else just pile on. Let's go. Goes for headbutt. It's just hanging on by some little HP. Should be able to get out now. Nice. And we'll catch the steel terror type shroomish. In a... Great ball, why not? Let's go! Terrible? Go! Nice! Shroomish was caught. Got loads of experience candy, loads of items. All good. And a Fampy and some Combi and a Mucky Hitter and another cave. I think I also forgot about the cave I drove, I saw and just did nothing about. So that's good. Uh, there's a Gimme Go as well. Okay, where's this cave go? That's a great question. There's another cave on the other side, so maybe it connects to the other side. No, it keeps going. Uh, okay. Oh, it keeps going that way, which is a way we don't want to go. We want to go that way. And that. Oh no, the cave we went. We we 
yeah, we won't go in that cave because that cave was a. Uh, We'd have taken this back to the psychic gym, which is good to know. Sun setting. That's kind of pretty. Nope, that's the wrong button. <laughs> Excellent. Right. Ah, there's the boulders coming down. Okay, so let's get our Maraid on. Ah, there's the big Pokemon. Whoa, look at the big... It's a huge Bombardier. That's crazy. Uh, okay. Let's go up here. Up the stairs. What's up here? Getting so high. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's an item. A rare candy and a gimme cool by the sounds of it. Can't see it, but look how far we've come. Just look at that. We've come all the way from Mezagoza to that town to the bug gym town and all the way up here just to oh, there's a gimmick all, all the way up there how do I get him up there look at him all the way up there how do I get that gimmick all <laughs> right down we go whoops almost Okay. There's a picnic guy with a Goomy. Enjoy picnicking. And there's a trainer as well. But nope. No more distractions. There's our destination. Let's go, Maridon. Watch out for the rocks. Here they come. There's the Bombardier. Uh, let's get the team ready. Change position. Change position. Okay, let's... It's a giant bombardier. Behind the rock. Got all these boulders. How did they get up there? Okay, go. Right. Hug. That's it. That's the way. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Watch out. Oh, no. Oh, I'm sorry, my dog. You're okay. Right. Up the top we go. We made it. Whew. And there's the Titan. The Sky Titan. Bombardier. Let's take you on. Stork. Bomb Bombardier, the open sky titan. Let's battle Terrori uh, Terrastalize and we'll go for a smackdown. Let's go. Bombardier use plug. Nackley can handle that. That's not a problem. Let's go, Nackley. Nice. Did so much damage. One more should do the trick. Am I... Again, it doesn't give me the option to throw a Pokeball. I would so love a Pokemon this big. Plug, not a problem. Let's go. Smackdown. Yeah. Ah, oh, into the red. Okay. Uh, oh, my terrestrialization wore off. Oh, okay. Where are you going? 
Oh, into a cave. Jeez. Whoa. The Titan Bombardier began eating something. Oh, phase two. I terrestrialized in the wrong section. Ronnie, you managed to get the Titan somehow. So that's the open sky Titan? Wait, is this Titan must been dropping all those boulders? I was lucky enough to be able to sneak up here because it had all of its attention on you, little bud. It looks like it's trying to power itself up, like with some kind of mystical meal power or something. So we better be ready to go all out. Oh, here goes phase two. Uh... I can trash again, excellent, and we'll smack down. Let's go. Try to drop rocks on folks is dangerous. Let's give this thing a good taste of defeat. Also have a hard stone that powers up my Knackley's uh, rock type moves. I also love this Knackley and Knackley versus Bombardier. That's so awesome. Go to a we attack, but again, we resist it. It's a teammate Knackley went for a rock throw. Excellent. We're going to go for a smackdown. Super powered. Terrastalized smackdown. Yeah, there we go. One more hit should do just a trick. Use wing attack on the other Knackley, but our Knackley is more powerful. And it was a crit as well. He's actually does a rock throw and... Leaves a little bit of HP left just for us. Here comes the Smackdown! Nice, super effective! Bombardier was fainted. The Open Sky Titan was defeated. We defeated the Titan Bombardier! And that can go a lot of experience. The grid up leveled up 22, so did. Cloth and so did Tab Bulb. Up to level 23. I was going to say, maybe one of them was, was, can evolve this time. Yes! Way, way to go, Ronnie! Looks like we don't have to worry about any more boulders falling on us now, huh? Let's get out of this rain, though. There's going to be more of that herb and Mystica in it eight in here. Let's hurry and find it before the Titan can come back for another go at us. If we're lucky, well, there'll, there'll be another herb here. Just like the last time when we fought the other Titan. I knew it! Another herb of Mystica. It really is here. This is one of the herbs. Make no mistake. You and Arvin found a bitter herb of Mystica. Woohoo! We did it! Thanks, Roddy! Now then, let's see. What does this book have to say? Bitter herb and mystic is great for your circulation. It really gets the blood flowing, and that warms you right up, nice and toasty, even boosting the immune system. Or so it says. Isn't that what just the last one said? If I could just slip this into a tasty sandwich and get him to eat some... Hmm, well, what are we waiting for? It's time to dig in! Let me whip something up for us. I'm pretty sure I just copied and pasted dialogue from the last one, right? And Bob's your uncle. Here you go, my special whimsical herb-filled super sandwich, and it comes with a side of Titan Badge as a token of gratitude, of course. Open Sky Titan defeated. Path of Legends. Yeah, gross. Apparently we're both not fans of this one. It's very bitter. Adios. Oh, come on, you again! Sniff, sniff. Do you want to give your sandwich to Maridon? Uh, of course. I, did, I gave the last one to him. Here you go. Genius! Hmm, is this trying to say thanks or something? Well, good thing I made extra. You're helping me out a whole bunch with the hard stuff, so it's only fair that you get more. I definitely absolutely did not make extra so that Moradin could have a sandwich, okay? 
Job, job, snarf, job. Agios! Whoa, what happened this time? So last time I got a dash ability. We will now be able to move across water. Yes! Did it grow stronger again? Agio! Man, these Herb Mystica really do a pack a punch, don't they? I mean they better or I mean they better or else I'm really up the creek. Sniff sniff. Agio! He's eating your sandwich, don't you don't touch that! That isn't for you! Agio? Hmm? Who's it for? Oh, uh, sorry, I shouldn't have shouted like that. I guess I should at least tell you the full story, Ronnie. Come on out, bud. Oh, this is m my boss stiff. My partner. Adieu. Oh, oh, doggo. Here you go, bud. Eat up. This sandwich should help you feel better. Slowly now. Take your time. Small bites are fine. Just not chew nice and slow. Oh, He's looking after a very old doggy. My buddy here was hurt pretty bad a while ago. Real bad, in fact. He never really fully recovered. Have you... Potions and things don't work? Nothing seems to help. Not potions, not Pokemon centers, nothing. My boss stiff here. That's, there's gotta be a new way of saying that name. My, here is the only thing in the world I care about. The only thing. So I promised that I'd make him better, whatever it takes. I searched online, I read books, I looked all over and tried every cure and remedy I could find, but nothing really worked. I'd almost given up hope. That's when I found out about the Herba Mystica. You've done your research. Yeah, see, I found this book in my dad's lab. Area Zero was home to wondrous herbs that instantly impart vigor when eaten. We dumped them Herba Mystica and attempted to grow some in areas around Poldia. However, before we could harvest, the herbs were eaten by Pokemon, which in turn grew large and strong. We call these Titan Pokemon. It's this book full of crazy stories and legends and things. Stuff nobody'd usually believe. But I believe it. I think that's what, it's, that's what it says. It's true. And according to this book, eating all five herb mystica can cure anything that ails you. Case in point, my boss's paws were cold as ice before he ate that last herb. But they've warmed up a little now. I'm sure they have. Oh, you've done eating, bud? Hey, my boss, can, can you see? Are you are your eyes open? Yes, I did it! It's been so long since you were he was able to open his eyes. I was so worried. Sniff. Oh man, I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Wine. Sniffle. <laughs> oh, look at him. Those fiery orange little eyes. Hard to even tell if they open or not, but I know the difference. The power of these herbs is amazing. I knew the book wasn't lying. I'm going to bring Bob, my, bastiff, my, my, my boss stiff back to health. Full health, I swear it. Oh, uh, yeah, so that's my story. Three herbs to go. Let's find them together. Agia. Yeah, let's help my boss stiff. My boss stiff. I'd like, we need a new name for that. Roto Jojo. Hello, Ronnie. This is Turo. I detect that Maridon has regained some more of its original power. While riding upon it, it seems you can now be able to move across water. Yes! I can finally catch some water-type Pokemon. Maridon can now move across bodies of water, opening up new ways to get around. If you press B while you're in the water, Maridon can even jump. I'm relying on you, you to continue to take good care of Maridon. So we can now do some surfing. Excellent. But man, I, I need to go catch one of those Bombardiers Pokemon. Hopefully I can be able to I'll be able to find one uh, down by those windmills over there. Uh, but, wow, in this part, we learnt so much. At the top of this mountain, we journeyed from... Uh, Cortondo, all the way up this very steep incline, catching some Pokemon along the way, catching a whole boast of brand new Pokemon, and finally took on 
the stony cliff titan, the flying, the, the sky titan, uh, Bombardier, uh, a, a Titan Pokemon that was a new Pokemon, Bombardier. Um, like, just like Cloth was. So hopefully all of these Titan Pokemon will be brand new Pokemon. Uh, and in the, and as we're here, in the next part, what I'm going to do... Oh, in this... Oh, off screen, I'm just going to... Uh, what I'll do is I'll do some stuff off screen. I'll, I'll explore these cave areas and what have you down here. Uh... And in the next part, we'll start our journey from this Pokemon Center here. And because uh, there's a cave down here, but I don't want to go to the cave down here just yet. I just want to explore this area, try and find some more Pokemon that I was able to catch in this part, like Bombardier and what have you. Uh, and then in the next part, we'll journey up through here to the Pokemon Center here at West Province Area 1 North and down and finally do a Starfall Street here at the Dark Crew Base. Since he only recently began training Dark-type Pokemon, he's not too much challenged in a battle. He used to be a st straight-laced star student, but certain events set him on a very different path. We'll be heading towards the Star Street Dark Crew base for the star badge of the Starfall Street next time. Uh, but, f and maybe if we have time, also heading towards uh, Kaskafara Gym to take on the Kofu, the Surging Chef. Uh, the Surging Chef. Chef? The Surging Chef. I can't even say it. The Surging Chef and his water type Pokemon. So we'll do the Starfall Street and the Water Gym. Hopefully in the next part. But for now, at the top of this mountain here, which doesn't have a name, uh, in West Paldian, in West, uh, West Province, I'm going to call it the Stony Cliff, uh, as the moon rises on this long day here in Paldia. Uh, I have been the one and only, and there's no body I'd rather be, and you've been watching part five of my Let's Play of Pokemon Violet for Nintendo Switch. Don't forget to give a like, comment, share, and subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time.